Hello and welcome to another video with me, you winner and Jake, with another video of Weekly Andrew, in which, uh, yeah, I've actually gotten a bit more done this week, I guess. More to talk about than I did last week, at least. So, yeah, going to just go ahead and start with the anime. So, first off is Executioner Anime thing, which is one of two anime I'm talking about this week, of course, but, uh, yeah. Mostly kind of just covering what going on currently, I guess, with the stuff that kind of got revealed in this episode, which is basically just everything that's been causing all the changes in this timeline, I guess I'll call it, is all due to Akari and her regressions going back, resetting the world over and over and over again, basically which allowed the pandemonium to temporarily escape the fog. And also another thing being that apparently there is a way to actually go back to Japan, which would explain how Manon's mother managed to get to that world in the first place, considering she was not actually ever summoned. So if there is a way to go between the worlds, that would actually explain it. And also, apparently, kind of hint at, but I guess not really confirmed, but still good enough, I guess, is that Flair is the entire reason why Ikari keeps failing every single time and ends up having to do the regression. Because somehow... Flair is basically destroying any kind of plans Akari really has, which, yeah, I don't really understand that. Sure, maybe Flair is trying to kill her, but why not? Why is she doing it the way she is? Because that doesn't really make sense unless she has completely alter ulterior motives, which, yeah, don't make sense at all. Yeah, I don't really understand that at all, to be honest. But the only other thing I guess I really have to say is the fact that, well, Akari went to heal Momo before all of that stuff. We learned all that stuff. Be in healing or using your powers there. So, yeah. When she was leaving, Momo actually saw her. So that should make things a bit interesting in the future, though we only actually have one more episode left, so I doubt there's going to be much when it comes to that yet. Maybe, I'm not exactly sure. If we're going to really see anything, it's going to have to be on a second season, if we ever actually get one. But uh, yeah, that's that anime done, I guess. So moving on to Ascendance of a Bookworm which has finished airing due to the fact that it only actually had 10 episodes. Which is a bit sad considering... I honestly feel like I should have had more. Considering I'm pretty sure some stuff was cut out in this season, and apparently they actually had... those 10 episodes had to be fought for, considering they were originally going to end up getting eight, which, uh, yeah, considering the fact I'm pretty sure some stuff did already get cut out, which is ten episodes, would, yeah, don't want to know what would the this season would have looked like if it only had eight episodes. That's all I'll say there. But, uh, yeah, Mine is dead, and we now have Frozen Mine as our main character. Yep, mine's dead. So sad. Ah, uh, but at least we have Rose in mind now. But the most unexpected thing there, this entire thing, to be honest, is Sylvester, and the fact that he is apparently actually the lord of the city at the very least. Don't actually understand the whole political side of things yet, to be honest. Probably due to the fact that it's been a while since the first two seasons aired. I don't really remember that much from them. So, uh, yeah. Sylvester is Lord, apparently, and now mine is... Throws in mine. Is... His... Adopted daughter. And also, apparently, family relations going on there. 
that were revealed as well, with the High Priest being Sylvester's uncle, and also the Head Priest being his younger brother. Yeah, family relations going on there. Totally not corrupt at all. Well, at least one of them was corrupt at the very least, considering he's now dead. But overall, when it comes to the season, though, uh, yeah. I honestly did not enjoy it very much. At least as compared to the first two seasons. Didn't feel as great. Which is sad, but I guess kind of understandable due to the fact that it was 10 episodes, not 12 like the previous two seasons. But at the very least, we basically have a fourth season confirmed, I guess, considering the to be continued at the end. Which is basically which has also been there at the end of Season 1, and then the Season 2, and now we have the end of Season 3, so I'm pretty sure we have a Season 4 coming. Which is very nice, if we do. So, yeah, that's anime I have to talk about for this week, considering I honestly don't know what I'll say, but I am guarantee can guarantee that I'm going to be talking about a lot of anime next week, considering everything starts ending. Yeah, gotta look at anime for next season soon, considering I have yet to actually do that for some reason. Don't know why I haven't gotten around to that yet, but I haven't. But uh, moving on to Devious World, which I did say I was going to finish off Holly's character, which I did. So good for me there. I actually managed to do that, but to not actually make time for what was added in the update, get around to that, but I did skim through all that stuff, and yeah, a few options there, I actually have quite a bit, which is actually a bit surprising, though, to make up for that, I guess some of the others barely have anything, we kind of saw what was added there, but Holly, starting off with stuff for October, which got two days you can pick there, 30th and 31st, 30th one, you get some choice afterwards, with to be honest, the main one is the witch, in which you basically become, well, a witch. And also get a cat boy familiar, which, yeah. Honestly, everything there is actually quite nice, to be honest, I think. For the most part. But that's the only thing that's really there for that day, considering all the other options there don't have that much content at all, to be honest. So, yeah, not much for the 30th. But the 31st, kind of about the same as much as the witch option, I think. Um, stay in, giving out candy to trick-or-treaters and everything, which for the most part, all the contents there revolves around two girls. One being dressed as a witch and the other a cat girl. So, yeah. Decent bit contents there, I'd say, but overall not tons, but I'm pretty sure October still has the most content out of all the months. So moving on to November, which, yeah, I'm not really going to say anything there, considering it barely really has any content at all. And honestly, what it was there, I'm not exactly fond of, i say the least. So, December. Get uh few options i guess and the go to bed option you then get untie rudy which uh basically with what's written currently for that choice you end up replacing rudy ruda off rudy as the lead reindeer and also all the reindeer here are humanoid so yeah Basically furries, yeah. But you replace them, that's roll there. And then also the help Santa option, you get merged with Santa and basically become a Futa Santa. And with what's written there, you just basically continue on Christmas as normal for the most part. Unless, yeah. Uh, Fun, I guess I'll say. Though there's not as much content on that side. For the most part, it's 
just you doing what you should be doing and just finishing the job and everything. So, uh, those options there are done, so go back to the stay up option there, in which not really anything there, to be honest. You kind of just find Santa. So, yeah, not tons of contents there. Again, one of them being, uh, you think he's a burglar, basically. And, yeah, that's based the consequences of that. So, just ignore the stay up option for more now, considering there's not that much there, to be honest. So, the early, starting the drive early thing there for that option, you get three more options after that that have been written currently, which the first one is phone, in which you end up hitting reindeer and get chased down by Krampus. Yeah! Pull over option, well, at the very least, I'll just say you get flat tires, considering there's not tons of content written after that, to be honest. Really, there isn't. No, I'd like to see a bit more there, considering I kind of would like to see where some of that stuff goes, I guess. Eh. And then the AM radio option, in which you basically get abducted by aliens. With what's currently written, that is. The option itself, you kind of... There's only really one channel in the area in which is a conspiracy theorist. I'm pretty sure the person that's kind of supposed to be like Alex Jones or something there in that world. In which, yeah. few options after that. only one available is aliens, and there's really not that much there either. So, yeah, that's basically everything for Holly finished now. So, when it comes to Holly overall, I'm pretty sure October had the most. If not, it was December. They're kind of tied up there for the most content between when it comes to all the months. And then you got April after those two when it comes to most contents there. And then at the end, you got February and November, which barely have anything at all, to be honest. I'm pretty sure February might actually beat out November, maybe? I'm not exactly sure there. So, yeah, that's all the stuff for Devious World. They're done when it comes to Holly, at the very least, and not just the young adult section in total, I guess, considering we've got all those characters done now. So all that stuff to the adult and middle-aged character there. So four characters that will actually work through there for Devious World. Still got to actually get around to the stuff that was added in the last update, which I will be doing this week. So yeah, Devious World done. So yeah. Nino Kuni Crossworlds. I haven't made any progress on that at all this week. I have literally just been grinding away this whole week. Though I have actually been meaning to actually stream it, but never got around to it. Because I was just doing other things, saying everything, I guess, and to be honest, I was going to record do that tonight, but I was kind of watching next, and he ended up streaming quite late, which not again he was expecting, so... Yeah, I didn't get around to that yet, considering, yeah. Past midnight already when am I recording this, so yeah, I gotta get this done, re finish recording this, get it edited, uploaded for tomorrow. Yeah. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure I can say that I will be streaming the day this is uploaded. If I haven't already started the stream before this gets uploaded, so yeah, definitely doing it tomorrow. I also need to take a shower first, so I guess now to shower. So yeah, there. Uh, and overall, I kind of think I need to do a bit more streams, considering I basically haven't streamed at all this entire week. So last stream was like middle of last week or something. Yeah, I definitely need to get to do and get a stream and try and stream a bit more regularly than what I have currently, considering, yeah, no stream this week. Which needs to be changed, considering I want to stream at least a few times each week currently. Yeah. 
No, so I'm kind of actually thinking about doing VTuber stuff and just be a VTuber myself when it comes to Twitch at the very least. Considering I do actually have a model that I put together in VTube and VDroid. Pretty simple. Basically just me. So, yeah. Over time, I'll probably change it. End up changing the model over time to make changes and everything but i'll probably not actually do any proper debut until i actually have people watching me i guess in a better model or something so yeah i do actually have lore when it comes to if i do vtuber stuff yeah i already have lore for the character and everything there which basically justify any kind of changes i ever actually make to the model so yeah, that's not something any VTuber actually has. Really, not many VTubers actually have any way to actually justify changes to their model when it comes to their lore. Me, I can do anything. That's what I got to put lore there. But that'll all be saved until I do an actual debut, I guess, considering, yeah. Gotta do something for the debut, whenever that's going to be, considering I kind of want people to actually be watching if I'm going to be doing one, otherwise I might as well not even have a chat there, considering, yeah, I'm pretty sure no one's really actually said anything in my stream yet, except for a few of the Euro Truck Sims at the beginning. Yeah. But I guess that will be the end of this video here, so, yeah. I hope you all enjoy this. Hope you all have a great weekend, since that is actually something that I've been meaning to actually try and add to the end of these outros here for these videos. But you've always been forgetting, so yeah. Hope you all enjoy this video. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you all next video. Bye bye.